Miss Kristen here, and today I am here to show you a different way to decorate a pumpkin. I am going to decorate this pumpkin using bu bu buttons. For this activity, you will need a pumpkin. You could use some little cut pieces of um, pipe cleaner, and you'll need buttons. As you can see, I have already started decorating this pumpkin. I have put one eye on my pumpkin. What shape did I use for the pumpkin's eye? That's right, I used a triangle. You can tell it's a triangle because it has three sides. One, two, three. And the triangle also has three points. One, two, three. Let's go ahead and put my pumpkin's second eye on. I'm gonna hold the button on the pumpkin like this, and then I'm gonna use the pipe cleaner and poke it into the hole and into the pumpkin. Oops, drop the pipe cleaner. And I'm gonna push, 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 push. It might be kind of difficult to do at first, but that's the point of this activity is to make your finger muscles nice and strong. Oh no, my pipe cleaner. Got two, but let's try one more time. Alrighty. There we go. Then once it's in there, let's go ahead and bend them. Beautiful! My pumpkin has two eyes. Hmm, what else does my pumpkin need? That's right, it needs a mouth. I don't have any shapes that really resemble a mouth, so I think I'm gonna draw one on him because I want a big smiley face on my pumpkin. So I'm gonna take a marker and draw a big smiley face. What other kinds of emotions can you draw on a pumpkin? You could give them a happy face. How does a, how would an angry face look like on a pumpkin? Or a sad face? Could you make a sad pumpkin? Hmm. All right, I got my pumpkin smiley face going on. <gasps> and then you know what? I think I wanna give him some teeth. I have a rectangle button that I'm gonna use as a tooth. It is a rectangle because it has two short sides and two long sides. Hmm, I think I wanna give them rosy two cheeks. What shape is this? A circle! I have a pink circle and I think it would work perfectly for my pumpkin's rosy cheeks. How cute! Hmm, what am I missing? A nose! My pumpkin needs a nose. Hmm, what shape should I use for the nose? I have, what shape is this boys and girls? A heart! 
I think my pumpkin look would look just oh so fabulous with a heart nose. And I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the top part of my pumpkin. And I'm gonna make some hair for her by using a pattern up top around the stem. I have, what shape is this? This is an octagon. It is called an octagon because it has eight sides. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is how you know a shape is an octagon because it has eight sides. Hmm, so let's go ahead and put, let's start with this purple one right here. I think this purple octagon fits great right there. making a pattern of purple, white, and pink. If I am making a pattern of purple, white, pink, what should come next? Purple, white, pink. That's right, purple. Alrighty, boys and girls, there you have it. My button decorated pumpkin. It's time to finish off and top her off with a little purple bow right on top. There we go. She is all done.